Hey everyone, Mike here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. During this video, I'm going to review L-tyrosine. I'll go over my personal experience, the benefits, the recommended dosages, and as well as some nootropics that may complement the effects. So here's our personal review of L-tyrosine. Let this video be your guide and let's get right into the video. Firstly, what is L-tyrosine? It is an amino acid that is found in very large quantities in things like chicken breast, as well as egg whites. However, when taken free form, like on an empty stomach or a few hours when you're fasted, you'll notice some incredible effects that it can do as a nootropic supplement. So it can have some really interesting benefits for your mood, for your concentration, and for your ability to handle stress. And that's what it is. It's used just as a focus agent to really help you with concentration and be more productive and be your best self. And my personal experience is such that it's like taking caffeine without feeling overstimulated or feeling any of the negative side effects. It really is like a wonder pill. It really can act as a pill similar to Limitless. Tyrosine, it's a precursor to three neurotransmitters, which are dopamine, norepinephrine, and adrenaline. So when stress depletes your neurotransmitter stores, tyrosine can replenish that and help you just endure a level of concentration for far longer than you typically could. Tyrosine converts directly into dopamine and what this is responsible for is to help you be more motivated. You'll find that you're just more goal oriented when you're on it. You seem to do fun things like find deadlines for yourself or challenge yourself to stay engaged in your work. You feel ambitious, you feel proactive, and you feel energetic towards accomplishing your goals both physically and mentally which does make it special. It's neat that there's so much research done on, on L-tyrosine and there's lots of data. It's, if you like a nice summary of these studies then do check out examine.com where you can see them nicely organized that there's improvements on cognition, there's improvements on stress resilience. They found that following tyrosine ingestion, people did respond better to stress. Subjective well-being was improved. And I can attest that I have as well experienced these benefits. I first discovered tyrosine eight or nine years ago. What happened was I was introduced to a pre-workout product that was caffeine, L-tyrosine, and some other ingredients, and I felt amazing. And it wasn't until I took that pre-workout and deconstructed it that I noticed it was L-tyrosine that was doing most of the magic as far as energy, mood improvement, and overall concentration. And although it was a pre-workout, I mean, it was very effective for studying or even just helping to brainstorm on different tasks I had throughout the day. I was just able to get a lot more done. And that's one of the reasons why I've been taking L-tyrosine almost every single day since then. To think it's an amino acid that doesn't even have negative side effects, it's like a magical supplement. And for that reason, I would rank L-tyrosine in my top 10 nootropics, along with things like Bacopa, ashwagandha, rhodiola, paracetam, nupept, and some others which I've covered in other videos. The ideal scenario when I'm finding myself taking L-tyrosine free form now is at the end of the workday, when, when I really just want to wrap up work but I have another hour to go and I just need to grind it out so to speak. I'll ingest a bit of L-tyrosine and not only will I have the energy to go that extra hour but I'll find that I'm enjoying the work, almost like having a nice meditation and being that post-meditation zen state. Dosage, if you notice I have it here from Nootropic Depot, both in capsule form and as well as in the powder form. And the reason I do this is because I take the dose dependent on what type of task I'm using it for. Whereas with that last scenario where I'm using it for work-related use, I personally like taking it in 500 milligram pills. However, it's also sold in 750 milligram pills. It, um, it's been my personal experience that there's really no difference between taking it in 500 milligrams or 750 milligrams. So this is what the pill looks like here. Really small pill. I can't see why anyone would have an issue ingesting it. If that is the case, then you're always welcome just to break up the pill and put it in some water. And then we have the powder, which I can Keep around for pre-workout use. When it comes to pre-workout, I'm typically dosing it a lot higher. I'm dosing it like one gram or like 1500 milligrams because when you're combining it with other focus agents, things like alpha GPC or huperzine A or vinpocetine and caffeine, it can do some really special things. So there's a synergistic effect when you combine this with other nootropics and that's the reason why I take the powder form pretty much just pre-workout as I want to have more of it, I want to use it abundantly, I want to use my milligram scale and know how much I'm taking. So here's what the powder looks like. Yeah, you can see it's like white, pretty much flavorless, and it doesn't have any sort of bad texture that would turn you off from ingesting it. There's studies showing that tyrosine can actually help with fat loss, particularly in like your stubborn body fat. For men, that's typically love handles. For females, more in their legs. When combining L-tyrosine with caffeine or yohimbine, you're actually able to get blood flow to these stubborn areas a lot easier. And so if you were to ingest tyrosine along with those other nootropics, 
and then do some cardio maybe half an hour afterwards, it'll be a lot more effective in burning fat and therefore you're more likely just to retain your muscle, which is everybody's goal when it comes to fitness is to build muscle and lose fat or lose fat and maintain muscle. So if you're somebody that exercises or you're into fitness, tyrosine should be in your staple. And not only does it have these benefits, but it can also be an appetite suppressant, which is one of the reasons why you may notice like after you have a really big serving of chicken breast or like egg whites, you really don't have much of an appetite for things like sweets or fatty foods. And if you were to ask me what some of the side effects are, the only thing which comes up is sleep. It can negatively affect your sleep in that if you were to ingest it within one to two hours, don't be surprised if it's a bit harder to fall asleep or it's a bit harder to get into those deep levels of sleep that you want, things like REM. Again, only within the first couple of hours of taking it. For me personally, if I'm taking it at like 8 o'clock p.m. and my goal is to sleep at 11 or 12, I have no problem with that at all. So other neat tool it has is if you're somebody that's going off of stimulants or if you're going off of caffeine or things like Adderall, Concerta, um, anything you're using for ADHD or like Viennese or even caffeine, during that period, you may be experiencing a lot of withdrawals and tyrosine can just act as a supplement which can help you meanwhile, just to stay energetic, stay positive, but you would have to dose it several times throughout the day. And if you were to ask me what other nootropics can complement the effects of L-tyrosine, I would say adaptogens. And what adaptogens are supplements you can essentially use to fight stress or increase your capacity to handle stress. So some of my favorites are ashwagandha. This is KSM 66 ashwagandha, which I'll put in the description box. I also like uh, bacopa. This is a great tool, especially when it comes to your working memory, like your long-term, short-term memory, Bacopa can do magical things. There's Rhodiola rosea, which again, it's similar to just taking like a nap in a pill or taking a nice 20 minute meditation. It'll help you to just to fight fatigue. I wouldn't recommend you take Rhodiola first thing in the morning as because it's mostly used to fight fatigue, you're naturally not gonna wake up fatigued. So, so keep Rhodiola to the late afternoon or early evening. And then of course, Lion's Mane, which is in my top five nootropics. What I like Lion's Mane for is its ability to help you solve complex problems. You're just able to see things with a different perspective. You become more curious about problems or questions that you just see them with a bit more depth. So L-tyrosine is great in that it's going to help you with your concentration, but lion's mane will help you just to allow you to judge what is worth concentrating on. I hope you all found this information helpful regarding L-tyrosine. I've covered other nootropics, things like modafinil and armodafinil in other videos. So if you do want to learn more about nootropics and being your best self, then do subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, give me a like or give me a dislike. Be sure to comment. And I love all the comments. I love the feedback. So I will be sure to respond. And I look forward to seeing you all next time.